my amazing people how are you all doing how are you guys doing hope you guys are chilling in you guys are hope you guys are relaxing and coming down on the beautiful sunday and you know i just watched a video recently and that is why i'm actually doing this particular video and, um, and i'm like and it's true that so many people might not even be aware of what is going on out there like how careful you should be especially for couples to be couple to be please i'm begging you listen to this video watch this video to the end you'll get something trust me if you're a new subscriber thank you if you're a returning subscriber thank you and um i'm just gonna try to just dive into this video because it's very important so i watched a video recently just was yesterday i watched a video of um couple dancing they're just having fun dancing then there's a lady that just used money i was like trying to like like I don't know what she's trying to do and somebody maybe it was the MC or somebody caught her and had to stop her from doing that guys be careful be very very careful when you're getting married and you're dancing of course and there's nothing you can do about it right you can't tell anybody not to spray money if you can't tell people not to spray money let the in fact, in fact it's intentionality tell the MC to keep saying it do not put money on their head do not put money let them keep saying it if you want to give them you want to spread them on the floor no money should touch them please don't go close to them with the money just put the money on the floor don't get let make sure that the mc is saying that continue like continually that they will not really hear it people are wicked i think it was a while ago to that i watched a video of so people uh, like couple dancing and somebody did the same thing too that's like you see couple get married they can't have children they will get married they'll be struggling they will get married the marriage not even last god knows how long this is a wicked world so you need to be sensitive and nothing i want to say is we are getting married pray and fast i remember when i was getting married me and my, myself and my husband we prayed and fasted fast for like seven days seven beautiful days we fasted Hmm. We fasted though. We fasted seven beautiful days. We fa hmm. in fact the, my wedding dress, when I got my wedding dress, it was fitted like it was like it grabbed me. But my wedding day, I could even feel like it was a bit loose. That is how much we fasted. We fasted that was breaking like maybe three, three o'clock or two. It doesn't matter when you break, make sure that you fast and pray. Every power of darkness, anybody. The funny thing is that the people that even do stuff like this are not even people that are far from you, that people that are very, very close to you, not just random people. That's why you have to be extremely, extremely careful. You have to pray and fast so that whatever they are planning, it will not even come to pass. You see, people get married, a very good girl, a good man, they get married and they're like, Oh, they are waiting for they don't have children. Or the oh the man just lost his job after the marriage, or the woman lost her job after the marriage, or or ah they are now sick, or the woman is now sick. She, oh the man is now sick. She's saying so many nonsense just because of that wedding day. Another thing I want to say is that do you know that it's not everybody that will have a big wedding. It's not because you cannot afford it. You can actually afford it, hundred percent, but. You need to know your own personality to determine the kind of marriage you plan. I mean, wedding that you plan. Yes, can I say that again? Make sure that you know your personality, your head, this head you carry. Not everybody have crowd for head. So there are some people that have done that are married and they did crowd wedding. And that is why so many things are blocked for them because they were not even supposed to have large wedding in the first place. And some young people that want to get married, that they will tell them maybe they are. Maybe they will pray and God will speak to them or maybe they will have like their, their pastor or their prophet pray and tell them do not have a big wedding have a small wedding there are people like that i think i've mentioned this too before in my previous video there are people like that are not made to have a large wedding like just you and your husband and your family do whatever you're doing go, go to the house don't don't even shout and there's some people that even when they call the crowd is not a problem like they call your word it is okay for them it's their head nothing can happen right but there's some people that their head like for example now I'm, I'm one person that when i want to do something and and i evolve people like i like somebody that's like when i want to do when i'm pregnant i don't even tell my siblings i don't tell anybody that i'm pregnant when, when i have a baby 
I tell them they'll be surprised. It's just me. I want to plan my baby, anything. Nobody know about it. Except God. But I know that the moment I let it out, that is so you so you know your head and work with what works for you. That is why you need to know who you are. You cannot take this out of it. Know who you are. Know who you are. If you're not supposed to have a large wedding, don't have a large wedding. You're not gonna die if you don't have a large wedding. You rather have a small wedding and you have a beautiful and a successful home that have a large wedding and you're living a miserable life. That is it. So just make sure that whatever, whatever, whatever you are doing, you want to make sure that yes, it's my head. My head takes this one. I'm fine. Then you now say, okay, yes, uh, I don't care. I don't care. Let me do. Don't do something that you, at the end of the day you will not regret. Would I regret? I like. Oh my God! I wish I know. I wish I don't. I don't do that. So, that being said, know who you are. Know who you are, so that you can know the kind of you know wedding you want to plan for yourself in the first place. And be very careful. Pray and fast. I remember during, during my wedding, my pastor, my, my spiritual father. You know, well, after we are free and fasted, they also fasted with us and prayed with us. So we were calling in every day. And I think I think we were calling in every day. I believe so, every day. But we traveled from morning to morning, um, for for seven days. And the seventh day we went to church and he prayed. Shower prayer. See prayer. Every prayer. Hey, only goes fire. And every prayer, no evil eyes will see you. Any hand that touch you will be out of greatness. See prayer. Every prayer. So there was nothing that anybody could have planned that would have come to pass because of course that's what, because, because see it's your it's your wedding day you would there's so many things that you will not see that is the truth because you are excited you are just laughing i know my wedding i will just laugh i will just dancing i dance i never care anything i will just ah eh, they will play eh, eh. <laughs> i was dancing they were like oh my god we didn't know you can dance like this i was dancing so you want to make sure that you pray, pray about it. Nullify every plan of the evil one, every plan of devil, any either anyone. I don't care who you have. Pray about it. Put them in their place for your wedding day. So when your wedding day comes, nothing will happen to you. After your wedding, nothing will happen to you. Because at the end of the day, that day, yeah, what is in that day? The most important thing is after that day. What happened after your wedding? What happened after that wedding? Then you're not into the marriage itself. So you make sure that you you make sure that you, you you put so many things in play for yourself for your old man everything and make sure that everything looks good so that at the end of the day when you get married you'll just be happy i've been smiling i've been enjoying your home and god is just going to bless you with everything so many people have delays today some of them because some of some of them is even assisted to the wedding so many have done something so you need to be very prayerful pray 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 and be careful. Tell the MC, don't spray my head, please. Spray on the floor. Okay? And we cannot leave God out of it, right? It's the ultimate. So, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please share this video to somebody. Put that on to get married. Re-emphasize it. Re-emphasize it. Please share this video. Let's touch one or two people out there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as usual, I leave you all in the hand of Almighty God. Please subscribe, press that button. If you haven't, thank you so much and God bless you all. Bye. <laughs>